Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name's Mark Love, and today I'm going to be showing you a used Verona that we just got in. Uh, this is a 2017. It's the 40 VRB model, which means it's a bath and a half floor plan. And uh, one of the things that really struck me as, as kind of cool and, and unique as I'm getting ready to do this video, it's amazing how much this unit has remained the same over the last five or six years. Now, they've upgraded the electronics. There are some big changes there, but the floor plan, the bones, the layout, everything is pretty much the same. And that's the sign of a floor plan that's been very popular, that's worked for them. They've got it dialed in. So I'm really excited to show this one to you. Um, let's start out right here with the engine. No. Nope get this popped up. Now, all of these Renegade Veronas, Verona LEs are on a uh, 350 Cummins. It's an 8.9 liter engine. So this has 350 horsepower and develops somewhere between 11 and 1150 foot pounds of torque. The nice thing about the Super Cs, as I pointed out before, all your fluids, all, everything that you need to access is really easy. So if you're the type of person that does work yourself, uh, you like working on these. As you can see, uh, you know, your washer fluid, your cooling fluid, your air filter right here. You've got a little gauge. This uh, uh, tells you what your air pressure is. Um, as it starts to creep up, it means your filter's getting dirty. Time to change it. But everything is easily accessible. If we walk over and look at the other side, uh, you can see we've got our power steering fluid. We've got our, our uh, water separator right here, easy to access oil and transmission dipsticks and you know if you need to get in there you can actually step right inside the engine here if you're uh, checking your fluids or doing work on it makes it really nice and easy and another great feature these have struts on it so if the wind comes up while your head's under there and blows this down it doesn't slam down hard nice and soft as it comes down and closes while we're here, I'll point out some side view cameras. You do have a three-way camera system. When you turn your blinkers on, you can see both sides. You do have the backup monitor. And uh, I'll point out some of the things this doesn't have that the newer ones do. And one of that is the VORAD system, the collision uh, avoidance system, and the lane assist. So you don't have those electronics. You don't see the little camera up in the windshield like you would on a newer one. Okay. Uh, let's go down the driver's side, and I left the slide in for two reasons. Number one, it's much easier to access your storage compartments. And number two, it's nice to see what it travels like when we get inside. So first of all, we do have dual fuel fills, one on each side, 105 gallon fuel tank, and you have two tanks. It's actually faster to fill them separately even though there is a line connecting them, it's a very slow process to fill both tanks from one side. And then over here you can see you have your DEF uh, fluid. Your DEF you only fill from one side. Another thing I'll point out as long as we're right here, pretty much all of these Super C's, first of all you have a battery disconnect switch right here when you go in. And these are your chassis batteries. So your starting batteries. You, you want to remember to turn those off when they're not uh, being used. And I love the grab handle and the steps. This stainless steel plate here with the, the circles in it, it really bites into snow or ice that might be on the bottom of your shoe. And you can get a good handhold to pull yourself up. It's kind of a tall cab, so it's nice to have, you know, a, a good places to grab. And then another thing about this seat, this is an air ride seat. All of the, uh, the Super C's, with the exception of the Numars, they bolt down the front end. You have shock and leaf spring on the front, air ride in the back. But they do give you a nice air ride seat, so it makes for a very comfortable ride. Okay, let's take a look at the storage compartments. Right here, we've got our batteries. You can see the big uh, uh, starting batteries on your left, your house batteries on the right. Now, on the newer models, 
that'll come with the pullout tray. This is virtually a six-year-old coach now since the 2023s are just around the corner. And again, some of the electronics, some of the features have changed, but the basic uh, floor plan and, and operation of this unit hasn't changed in almost a decade. It's really a great coach. Over here we've got another storage compartment. You can see we've got our inverter up here. Easy to, to access if you need to hit the reset button or something. This compartment is your propane and that's one of the differences here. A lot of the new coaches are all electric with induction cook surfaces and residential style refrigerators, uh, aqua hots for your furnace. This is an old propane system. One of the big differences when you go back five, six years in a coach. Another thing, I've pointed this out before, dual latches on the compartment doors, and I think Renegade builds the nicest compartment doors. They close easily, they latch well, they don't come out as you're going down the road. There's other manufacturers where you got to slam the door pretty hard to get it to latch, but I love the way they make their doors. Okay, here we do have a, a tank here. There are some heat pads. This is to help, you know, cold, water, uh, cold weather potential. But basically you've got your sewer drain down here. There's no macerator system on this. It's a traditional black and gray tank drain. In this compartment, again, you can see we've got our sewer line coming down. So you do get a little bit of storage down there, uh, you know, maybe to, to put your gloves or your sewer hose or items like that. This is our water compartment. Now, Renegade does a great job here. Uh, you know, first of all, you've got your, your power hose reel on both your water hose and on your electrical hose, those are really nice. Whole house filter here, your black and your gray dump valves are right here. And then this will be your black tank washout. After you dump your tank, you might wanna you know, rinse it out to help keep the odors down. But everything's easy to access right here. Very neat, clean look. You even have a place here to store your sewer hose. Here's your Onan 8,000 watt quiet generator. This generator has uh, 351 hours on it. 8,000 watts is enough to run both air conditioners and all the electronics in the coach. And then back here, another storage compartment. Now we do have a our transfer relay switch. This one does not look like it comes with the built-in uh, uh, surge protector. And then this actually has a release for your 50 amp cord. This is nice to be able to roll it up, uh, power rewind. When they're cold, it, they get really rigid and those uh, 50 amp cords can be a pain to, to get curled up. Outside shower here also. As we move around the back, again, nice looking cap. Not a whole lot has changed with this. You can see your backup camera on the top. You do have the 20,000 pound hitch. Now, this is a two and a half inch receiver. Uh, you can see we've stepped it down to where you can use a two inch insert here. Very heavy duty hitch. Again, 20,000 pound towing, 2,000 pound pin weight on this. You do get your seven-way plug back here, and you also get a hookup for a Voyager camera system. Maybe you're uh, pulling a stacker trailer and you want to put a camera on the back of that. And then right here, you pull this cap off, and that's your air uh, valve. So if you are towing with like an Air Force One brake system, you plug right into your airline there. Very convenient. As we move around on the passenger side, in this first compartment, you can see the hitch. And that's got the, the two inch and the two and five sixteenths ball. That's your big uh, two and a half or three inch insert, I guess that is. Again, 20,000 pound rating. Now you've got a lot of nice storage over here. What we have here is a, uh, I believe that's for your air system. 
And, uh, you know, if you've got a, a Jeep you're pulling, you might let the air out to uh, the tires to go do a trail. When you get back uh, to camp, you might want to air them back up. You've got a compressor on board, you might as well be able to access and use it. Very large storage area here. And as you can see on the passenger side, most of your storage compartments are wide open, so you get a lot of room here. Second very large one. I see there's some 110 outlets there. Uh, you know, if you have something you might want to plug in. Of course, it already has a built-in TV here. I think we've got a 30, uh, 31 inch TV. And then over here, another large storage compartment. And as you can see, we've got the 10 gallon water heater here as opposed to the aqua hot. Another thing, get a shot of the awning. This is a nice awning. It's a 12, 12 or 13 foot awning, covers your patio area. If you're sitting out here watching TV and you know it's drizzling a little bit, you still want to be outside if possible. All right, let's move into the coach now and take a look at the floor plan. Uh, first of all, you do have a keyless entry like all of the Renegade models. And uh, why don't you go in and step to the back, get a shot of the slide with it in. So when you're traveling, if you do have, you know, a dog, even a a large one, a, you know, German Shepherd or St. Bernard, they've got enough room to go through here. And uh, I'll run this slide out now, but it kind of gives you an idea of how much room I've got when I'm traveling. Obviously, it's, it's quite easy to reach the refrigerator. This is a bath and a half model, so you can access your half bathroom very easily. Uh, the bedroom slide is out, but when that comes in, it makes it a little tougher to get to the back bathroom. Let me go ahead and open this up, and then we'll start at the cab and work our way back. All right. Now, I've done a lot of videos on the Renegades, and anybody that's watched them know that I really like the Renegade. I think they build a great product. I love their woodwork. Uh, the fascia is all solid wood. Uh, soft closed drawers throughout, um, you know, no wrap styles. Renegade does a great job. And the fact that I am opening up the same size slide with the same floor plan that you can get in the 40 VRB model today, of course, with all the new electronics and, you know, the price increases, you, you pay quite a bit more for the uh, 2023s. But here we are with the slide out, and you can see how that opens up very nice. Okay, let's take a look up here, see what we have. First of all, uh, a lot of my monitors are all right here. My gen start, my water pump, outside storage lights. I told you we have holding tank heaters uh, for your black and gray tanks. And then your LP gas, which is a 10 gallon uh, water heater, you can heat that with both electric uh, or with your gas. and. Uh, Where's my button to check my slides? Can't find that right off the bat. But anyway, your monitor panels are right here. Uh, your gray, black, fresh. Oh, there we go. You just got to push hard. Empty gray tank. Fresh tank's about empty. And a full uh, propane right there. Generator start, like I said, 350 hours. These are our levelers, fully automatic levelers. Just hit your button. Uh, it'll go down, it'll level, it, it will even lift that front tire off the ground if uh, you're on quite a slope. Then over here is your inverter and your charger. If I did want to, you know, kick this on and maybe uh, use 110 power off my 12 volt batteries, that's what I'm doing here. So I can run my uh, microwave or coffee maker or things like that. Now, uh, this one, you can't run the air conditioner 
off the batteries. Some of your higher end models do, and, and the ones that are getting the lithium ion batteries, you'll see more of that. But I don't need the inverter on right now, so I'll go ahead and shut that off. We also get a couple of storage compartments, one on each side. Over here, you can see you've got all your owner's manuals. I guess we need to go through these. Um, we haven't gone through this in the shop and completely detailed it yet. It's a very clean, nice coach, but some of this might little, look a little disorganized. Uh, we'll get that cleaned up as we go through it. Uh, back up front here in the cab, again, I like the seats. They are an air ride seat, six speed Allison transmission. Uh, you know, cruise control and everything over here. This is really kind of a basic dash. Uh, you do have the backup camera switch here if you're going to uh, be towing with a, a stacker trailer. And then you have a high and low on your engine brake here. Uh, basically a transmission retarder, but a very comfortable cab. I like the seats, very nice leather. Uh, there is a little bit of cracking on the driver's seat over here. It got a little more wear and tear. And uh, what was the mileage on this? It was something like, uh, there we go, 30,669 is our mileage. Okay, and a little pedal here, which will tilt and telescope the steering wheel for you. All right, let's move to the back and take a look at the floor plan. Oh, another thing if you notice, these are all your, your old style traditional light switches here. The newer coaches now have a Firefly system and you have your fiber optic panel uh, and you can connect that with an app on your phone. So like I say, the, uh, the newer ones, they upgraded the electronics, but the same 350 engine, the same chassis, 309 wheelbase. Another thing, these have seven foot ceilings. That's about the tallest in the industry. And they had these going all the way back to at least 2017. So, so many things about this coach I really like because it's a good uh, floor plan and they haven't done a lot of real changes to the actual floor plan. Look at some of the storage up here. And uh, a little hubcap that looks like. Have some storage up above. Nice convection microwave. That looks barely used, which is usually the case in these. You can see we have a three burner propane cook surface. This is what they call the sealed burner grill. What I mean by that, you can see how tight this fit is around your burner. You don't have food going down there. It makes it much easier to keep it clean that way. And then a couple of nice uh, covers for it. great off a little bit down here we have our panels our, our breaker panels and fuses those are your 12 volt fuses here's your uh, 110 breakers one nice thing about these fuses they have indicator lights so if one goes out it lets you know which one is out it makes it very fast and easy to get that replaced and we have three storage drawers here. And like I said, these are all soft closed drawers. If you look, it's, it's really nice wood too. Uh, they don't use a cheap particle board inside. It's a solid wood drawer. And then got a little bit more storage over here. We do have a nice deep undermount sink. I think they call this the farm sink. It's big. You can get your, your big spaghetti pots and everything in here. And of course you have a residential style sprayer kitchen faucet. Okay, across from your kitchen on this one we do have the dinette 
and this dinette does convert. You just drop this down. You need to lift your cushion. It drops down on the cleats. Uh, there's a cushion in the back to fill this in, but you get an extra sleeper right there. And under these, we have storage on both sides. It's one of the nice things about the booth is you do get a little bit extra storage. And one thing I like about this, this drawer is almost as wide as the booth. A lot of them you lose three or four inches on each side, maybe a couple inches in height. This is a bigger drawer than you're going to find in, in most of your booth storage. Okay, now we've got a, a height of bed couch here, but the height of bed only pulls out on this two thirds of it. This other third is just fixed. But a nice sleeper here. We have good storage up above, and I like the fact that all of these are open. So if you have longer items, you can slide them in there without any problem. And when I reach back here, I talk about all wood styles. These are your styles here. And a lot of companies will use uh, maybe a pine or a poplar, and they'll do a veneer wrap on them. Uh, makes it a little bit lighter, a little bit less expensive. Um, you know, these are all solid wood. And they are throughout the whole coach. Your cabinet doors, you can see the, the tenon joint there. Just really beautiful woodwork. Hidden hinges. You get four more over on this side, oh five more actually on this side. So you can see how much storage there is there and one of the things I like to demonstrate, this is a, a 14 or a 15 inch plate here from your microwave and you can see you fit it, can fit it in there and still have four or five inches to spare. So there's a lot of storage in there. These have both the day screen and your night blackout shades throughout the entire coach. As we start to move back into the middle of the coach, you have a, a pretty large pantry area here and four deep drawers. So you can keep a lot of your canned goods and cereal and other things in here. Across from the pantry, you get a little storage here by our TV. And this TV does pull out and pivot. I like the positioning of the center TV. When you pivot it this way, turn the seat around, it's a good place to watch it from the dinette booth, the couch. It's just a comfortable place to, you know, put the TV. And then over here, actually, this is an electric. A residential style refrigerator rather than a, a propane or an RV one. You can see you've got a deep freezer here. There we go. And then again a little storage up here. Now the reason this wall isn't very deep is quite obvious when you come in here this is our half bathroom and I'll just let you get in there and take a look around. You do have a porcelain toilet there and it's actually quite roomy for a half bathroom. Fantastic fan there up in the ceiling. And then you get over here you have a nice large uh, medicine cabinet. And some storage underneath. So that's your half bathroom. And then directly across from that, we have our washer dryer.
As we step into the bedroom here, well, first of all, we've got a nice king size bed here. And you notice pedestals on each side. You have 110 and USB uh, ports on each side. A couple of reading lights there. And across here, you get four more drawers. And again, these are open all the way. Let's see, we've got the day-night shades there. I do like to show you under the bed of the Renegades. This is one of their good features. Now, there's a pole here I could wedge in. You've got two 75-gallon freshwater tanks. And look at your drain, your main uh, tank drain down there. That's an inch and a half. A lot of them use a half inch line to drain those and it takes forever. These actually drain pretty quick. Your water pump is right here and uh, here is your winterization bypass kit. So when it comes time to winterize it, it's very easy to get to, fast and easy to dump the water tank. And the best part is you don't have to worry about it freezing up if you're camping in the winter. Um, your black and gray tanks do have those uh, heat tank heaters on them. So virtually this is a four season coach. So we look over here, at the foot of the bed, we've got a nice wardrobe area. And then again, four deep drawers here. And again, they're all soft clothes. We get a couple of more extra long drawers here in the middle and then your video components are typically uh, right underneath the TV emergency exit here again a 31 inch TV and then in this wardrobe compartment I like the fact that this is removable you can you know hang in two levels but if you have long evening coats or, or formal dresses or something, you might want to hang it all the way down. You can remove this, remove the bar, and have one long closet there. Okay, now we're back into the bathroom. You can see the nice rounded shower. And again, with seven feet of height inside, you can see how much room you have. If you're 6'4", six, 6'5", six, you've got plenty of room here. And speaking of height, not only is it a 7-foot interior, but the exterior height on this is 12 feet 8 inches, and that is the top of your air conditioner. Anybody building a, a shed or a garage for an RV, uh, go with a 14-foot header. Most units are going to be under 13 feet, but if you build it at 14 feet, you won't have any problems. Okay, uh, got another nice medicine chest here. Big uh, storage cabinet over your toilet. And then one more compartment up above. And let me get out of here just so you can get a better shot of the toilet. And there's a cabinet down there. Another thing that I'll point out is you've got a nice real wood door here for your bedroom. Give you some privacy. Just really a nice finish throughout on them. Well, I think that's about all that I can think of right now. I'm sure something will come to me as soon as I'm finished. Uh, again, this is a 2017 uh, Verona 40 VB, uh, VRB and about 30,600 miles. Here's my contact info. And anybody that wants to call or text, you can use my cell phone, 970-631-0083. Uh, you know, finally spring weather is here. 
Camping season's right around the corner, so come on down and see us. Anybody that's been waiting for a used Verona, even though this is a 17, if you can live with the uh, propane water heater and propane cook surface, this is a great coach. Gives you all the towing, all of the things that you'd want to buy a Renegade for, uh, but much less than, than going with a new one. Anyway, once again, I'm Mark Love. Happy trails out there, folks. Drive careful, and we'll see you next time.